Well, indeed, it's a, a very good morning, uh, Regina. And I am coming to you from Mkumba traffic lights here in Katavi Town Council Works District. So just there's been an accident here where three cars were involved, a lorry, uh, ferrying Matoke, and other three, although traffic has just cleared the scene, but it remains a, a, a case of concern, especially to motorists. Let's not be errant, respect the traffic lights. But away from that, we'll be, of course, talking about matters, the workers' well-being. Of course, yesterday, the Amalgamated Transport and General Workers Union, one of the affiliates of uh, the National uh, Organization for Trade Union, was signing a memorandum of understanding with three other parties. The taxi operators this time have come under one umbrella. I witnessed the signing of the memorandum. There are also women into long distance truck driving, also uh, signing the memorandum with them under the Migrant Workers Union. That gives an indication, of course, when people come together, there is what we call well-being, better planning on how sometimes they negotiate for their best welfare when it comes to work. But of course we know that uh, the General Secretary uh, of the International Transport and uh, Workers Federation is in the country and uh, is of course going to share, compare notes with how the rest of other countries have been doing over, managing over 180 uh, uh, million, uh, 185 million people and many countries into that direction. But uh, coming into the country to benchmark on how the the, the process, how the works are being done is also another important thing. But I just want to speak to now the national chairman for the Amalgamated Transport and General Workers Union, who also doubles as the chairman <laughs> for the uh, National Organization for Trade Union, Mr. Asha Oere, to just give us a perspective of what this whole thing entails. You signed a memorandum yesterday with these three other groups, MC organizations or unions. But what exactly are you looking at? What are you seeing in them? We have seen roughs in the taxi operators and the rest. What are you looking at this time? Uh, first of all, we are addressing the, the, the workers' power, bargaining power. When workers unite together, their voice can be heard. And what we are trying to avoid is uh, those bickering, fighting, where taxes were fighting each other, but today they are under one umbrella. That is Uganda Taxi Operators Federation. That is Wutuf. And then uh, we are also looking at the, the way how they can work together, their voices can be heard, and we also want to transform uh, transport sector to see that the workers under it have got uh, can negotiate with the, the owners of the cars, can also negotiate with authorities like the city council, like Minister of Works, and so on. And also find a way how we can modify transport system in Uganda. Then uh, you see that long truckers, there are many of them who travel long distance from Mombasa to Congo to Juba through Lego, they have been facing they are facing a number of issues. Mm. So under their umbrella they'll be able to work together with the union to so that the union becomes their voice. Yes. Then we have migrant workers. Migrant workers are those workers, some are working here, those who come from out of the country and working in Uganda. Then our own workers who are travel to Oman, to Saudi Arabia, to uh, Qatar. Uh, and other countries, yes. even Germany and America. So they don't have a place. So Migrant Workers Association now teams up with the Amalgamated Transport and General Workers Union to ensure that those people have voice. We can track, uh, trace them when they, where they are working. We can be able to uh, speak for them. We can be able to work together and see how uh, we transform and uh, ensure that when they are working there, they are safe. When they come back here, they can also do something. Okay, I understand that you have uh, over 30 unions that are affiliates to the to not to now that you are working with. But the efforts to see that many other those organisations that haven't can join you. Are you looking at that also as another idea before we go to the chairman general in the country? Yeah, we 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 are trying to make sure that the especially the former workers have got a voice. And you know, f former workers are more than the former workers who work in, the, in, the, in the offices and so on. 
So we are trying our level best to see that in all aspects of life, all those workers work together and uh, build together so that we can be able to build our country in uh, using Okay, one. let's go to the uh, chairman, uh, I mean the, the secretary general of the international, uh, 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 tr the transport and the, 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 the general uh, workers, I mean the workers uh, uh, federation who is into the country. Yes. And yesterday, so he witnessed the signing of those memorandums. What are some of those things you are looking after? You know you have a meeting in Kampala that you are going for yes. to present on Uganda's case. First of all, Uganda is now placed as one of the, the best and uh, model country that have uh, transformed in the informal sector. So Stephen Cotton is the general secretary of ITF. ITF is the International Transport Workers Federation in the whole world. And uh, it represents 18.5 million workers all over the world. Uh, representing 147 countries. So Uganda is now placed at a certain point among the 147 because of our zeal to try to transform uh, informal sector, to bring taxes together, to bring truckers together, to bring the, 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 the other sectors. So in terms of uh, so Amalgamated Transport and General Workers Union have got two board members yes. on the ITF board. Our general secretary, brother Bima Stephen, and then uh, Mark, yes. John Mark, yes. who is also on the board. So we, 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 we as Uganda, we are placed at the, that high level where we have two representatives at the board. And even the transport, uh, the, the transport sector is chaired by a Ugandan called Mark. So that, that place is as, okay. as, as the highest level. Okay, uh, for time reasons, we'll leave the conversation here, but uh, thank you so much, uh, the chairman, national chairman, for speaking to us this time. Thank, okay. thank you so much, and thank you, NTV. Thank you, the viewers. May God bless you. Okay, uh, it is still morning at NTV from here at Nkumba Traffic Lights, but this time the show shall take a very quick break and return shortly after this.